That's the experience I want us all to have in the toughest moments in our life. Always remember that he's here. So as you're all joining in, I just wanted to share some thoughts about this depression. We give it too much glory or we, you know, the smallest things for a young person can depress us and pull us down. Um, you know, great fame filled people like Ma Michael Jackson who achieved the top of his profession. Uh, what an end he had being uh, brought down by drugs, overdose and you know, all that fame, all that height couldn't give him the real heights of life. He couldn't feel it. Uh, many actors or many performers like Robin Williams, we heard of a sad ending. He made so many people laugh, but he couldn't find happiness in his life. What's the point of all that happening in their life? What's the point of achieving so many things or making others happy when you can't find that in you first? That's the depression that the world makes us get into. We allow failure. I know some of you are there being broken in your hearts because of that. And uh, a loneliness might come because of that or loneliness might come because of loss in your life. You might have lost a loved one or someone who might have fought with you. You might feel so lonely right now. Or depression might come because you failed in something. You worked so hard for it, but you're not able to make it happen. Or you're not able to see your talents shining. Even though you've tried so hard, you might be so depressed. Um, having sickness within your body again and again, some pain that is coming and you're not able to come out and do anything. Or you might be depressed because of, um, you know, the ugliness in your body that you see. You might feel that you're ugly or dark or you're uh, fat or you're short. The, what people call you or what you think about yourself might depress you. You might think you're talentless. All these things might depress you. Oh, sometimes fights in our family, family situation, things like that, and friend situation might depress us. Or having no money in our hands to do something might depress us. So all these things depress us. But I'll tell you, in the midst of all these things, the don'ts that you need to know. <laughs> Don't sink in this depression all by yourself, all alone. Find someone to cling on to. Find people who will motivate you. Find people who will encourage. Find people who are smiling. Find people who are challenging themselves and be around them. The greatest thing is that you can find God. <laughs> He's always a person who motivates us and makes us feel that we are not alone. And don't sink in your own bad thoughts. Because of the depressing things that are happening, those thoughts might put negative intentions in our mind and bring us down. So don't sink in those bad thoughts. Instead, listen to good thoughts from the Bible. It's there for you. Many preach from the Bible and say, this is what God has for you. Listen to such uh, voice. Lit listen to such a voice. Listen to such songs of music. They sing and they glorify how great God is in our lives. So listen to such songs. Listen to the Bible every morning. It gives you the promise of God and strengthens you that this is what I'm going to do for you today. How can you be sad after that? You feel it and experience it in your heart. That's why it's there. And don't listen to the voices uh, which pull you down. And don't, um, because of these depressions, don't go into some other distraction and try to hide away the depression. Many people get into drinking because they're so depressed trying to forget that feeling. Many people go into some other watching TV or watch, uh, surfing the net or you know, surfing social media and try to just forget it. Or they watch comedy and try to forget it. Or they just hang out with friends all the time trying to forget the depression in their life. It's good to go and talk to other people, but are you talking about your depression? Are you dealing with the depression in you? Don't just hide away from it and lock it in your heart somewhere. Deal with it. So don't hide yourself from it. Fight it away from your life. 
it shouldn't be there in our heart. It'll only bring us down. And finally, don't give up. Don't give up. That's what we are here to do today, to not give up. Let me tell you, because of things that happen in your life, even if you're finally, because of the situation in your life, if you're standing on the street all by yourself, if you're left in the streets, your life is in rock bottom in the street, even then you should know that your life is not over, not at all. If you find joy in just standing in the street by yourself, having nothing in your hands, your life is still there. You're experiencing life. And that happiness, that confidence, that peace, even when you're in the streets, one person can give it, Jesus. He'll hold your hand and say, I'm also with you in the street. So don't feel down and broken and defeated. Let's go again. Let's go and live your life. I'll build it for you. He'll give you such a confidence. You can stand with him with nothing around you, nothing in your hands, nothing in you. He'll build it all again so beautifully and he'll give you a great life. I'm confident. That's why Matthew 6, 33 in the Bible says, Seek the Lord first. Seek his righteousness first. Seek him first above all things. When you keep him at the center of your life, as the rock of your life, seek him first. All things are added unto you in your life. Everything comes from him. So beautifully formed. So even if you have nothing today, it's in, in some way it's good because the Lord is going to be the center now and he's going to form everything beautifully in your life. Matthew eleven twenty eight. give all your burdens into his hand. All you who are weary, tired, and burdened, I know you're tired. I know you're carrying a big load on you. Come unto Jesus. He says, come unto me, and I'll give you rest. I'll give you a simple yoke. My yoke is light. A simple burden. It is light. What is that burden? It is to go and carry the burden of someone else. And to work for them, or to pray for them, or to love, love them, or to help them. That's the burden that you need to carry. Your burden, which is depressing you, I will carry. I will carry. Just think of someone else and live your life for them. That's what Jesus is giving us a focus for today, in the midst of our depression, my friend. So, um, any comment that you have about any depression, I'll, uh, I'd like to... Uh, just listen to you first and talk to you about it and then pray that God will take it away from our lives. So our team is here, um, just putting up your comments. Um, so just let me know whatever's troubling you or whatever's in your heart. Just share it with me. And we're here to be happy and celebrate Jesus in our life. Shall we just pray for a moment and... Ask God to fill us right now. Lord, thank you for saying these things to us. Thank you that you care for us. Thank you for showing me today that, Lord, you want to lift your children out of depression, out of any depressing thought, any depressing feeling, any sinking feeling in their life, Lord. Even though they're alone, they're not alone, Lord, because you care for them today, you love them today. Love them in their heart right now. Let them experience it in their heart, Lord. Show them the power of praying to you, Father, that you're there whenever you call upon them. Fill their heart, love them, enrich them, Lord. Fill them with your Spirit, Lord, your Holy Spirit, Lord, your Holy Spirit. Your Spirit lives within us, and you talk to us, and you walk with us. You tell us what to do. Oh, it's so wonderful, Lord. Give them that feeling. Give them that joy. Give them that experience, Lord. We give it all into your hands. In Jesus' name. He's here with us on Instagram. Uh, Chrysanthelin Angel, can we go to that comment, please? And uh, Sangeeta Patra, I see a comment. Pray for your uh, studies. I know you, you might be feeling the pressure of your studies. I know uh, you're in class 7. Great. Uh, I know you'll do well. There's no pressure that can pull you down. Um, you can 
uh, whatever subject you are finding it hard, let God is here right now and He's filled us. Ask Him in your studies also, I know He will fill you. As you turn each page, as you read each concept, He'll speak to you and make you understand it beautifully. He'll give you such great understanding, such great wisdom to easily understand that concept. Lord, bless Sangeeta in such a way and make her understand everything and let her not be put down by the challenges in her studies, Lord. Lift her spirit up. Let her be excited about conquering every subject, every understanding every concept. Let her, Lord, write it so well in her exams. Great good results in Jesus name I'm just reading through your comments if anything's depressing you you can ask a question about it or you can just share it with me uh, and we will get through it together Crescent Angel, I think that's how we say your name. Uh, your mother is not feeling well for a few days. Lord, touch her mother and let Crescent Angel not be depressed because of it, Lord. Let her not be worried and brought down because of it. For her sake, lift her mother out, out of a sick bed. Let her feel healthy and strong in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I know many of you sharing your uh, prayer requests, your uh, psychology paper, Anosh Binekar and Instagram. Uh, God will bless you as you write your paper. Uh, wish, how can I grow in faith towards the Lord to serve Him through my life? Uh, and um, Vince, you are worried about your family's peace and salvation. We'll be praying for all of these requests that um, God will touch you. But uh, I just want to hear more about anyone who has uh, going through depression. Um, wish. Growing in faith is by hearing the word, word of God. Faith comes from hearing the word of God, as the Bible says. So... Uh, what the Lord promises you that day through a verse, that's how your faith is built up around that verse, that God will do it for you. And you carry that faith, God will execute that promise for you that day. That's how you build it up every day. And through situations, whenever you struggle, God will give you, uh, God will build up your faith, build up your strength to trust upon Him more, to rely upon Him more. You might feel weak, but he'll build up your strength, build up your faith. So even in the tough situations, he'll strengthen our faith to trust him more and give it all to him. And he'll do a miracle and you'll enjoy it. And your faith will be built up stronger in him. So um, th this Bible reading only protects us, protects our faith even in the tough situations. So that's the cornerstone of, for our faith. Um, Mira Turkey, uh, in Facebook, you've written, failing in competitive exam, you're depressed for the future and for your life partner, uh, getting negative thoughts that I'll be alone in my life. I know that pressure that comes, uh, failing in our exams, I know it's tough, but it's not over. A failure, I wouldn't call it a failure at all. Uh, you just have to tweak it. You just have to work uh, where you went wrong next time. You just have to work hard and I know you will see better results. Um, you're just hitting a hurdle, a setback, that's all. <laughs> so don't call it a failure and say that it's over for me in my exams, that it's over for me in that competitive exam and so my career is finished. No, try. Keep trying again. It's, your life is not over. Um, it's just uh, something that God is molding you in, and I know He will give you a bright future. Uh, and for a life partner also, don't feel that you're all alone. I know many of you might have tried, like Mira, you're waiting for the life partner because of something or the other, it's just not happening. Uh, you're not finding that person. Um, don't be worried. Don't be 
uh, pressured to say it's just because of few attempts uh, of meeting people, just because of a few months or even years. It doesn't matter. At the right time, God will lift you up. Just keep believing in Him. Uh, he has a future for you. He has a person for you. Um, just rely upon Him. Right now, uh, we'll pray for that. Lord, bless Mira's request and those who are going through it, Lord. Please strengthen them. It's not a failure for them. It's not over for them, Lord. Build up their confidence again to challenge themselves in an exam again, Lord. Let them see in that same subject or in that same competitive exam a higher result that they never expected, Lord. Give them 100%, 100%, Lord. And Lord, we pray that you will give them a wonderful life partner for those who are waiting for Mira, especially abundantly, Lord. Open up a way for her, Lord, at the right time, at the right time. I know that he's waiting for her. You are waiting to unite her with the right person, Lord. It's because of some, Lord, obstacles or some setbacks. It is not over, Lord. You're, this time is just waiting for her. The person is just waiting for her, Lord. Lord, bring them together and unite them. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. There's a question in Instagram. Please pray for my marriage, my loneliness. I know many of you are fe feeling lonely. Uh, Nirisha, G. Nirisha. I know you're going through such a loneliness. Um, we have prayed right now that God will give you a wonderful life partner. Don't be worried. <laughs> don't be worried. At the right time, don't feel pressured that it's not happening. Just keep trusting in Him uh, and He'll make it happen. <laughs> it's only a faith in the Lord which is important that He'll give things at the right time. So. Right now, Lord, build up her faith to have that life partner who is ready and waiting at the appropriate time. God is building you up to get ready for him also. So get through that process. He is also getting ready for you. So uh, wait and be prepared for your married life. Thank you, Jesus. Um, this in YouTube, Priscilla. Pray, pray for my spiritual life and studies. My health is suffering from PCOD. What is PCOD? I'm not sure about it, but um, I know you're being affected in health, as you say. Hmm. You want a righteous uh, walk with the Lord. You want to be close to Him. Um, please put that comment again. Can I read that again, please? Okay. Uh, I know you're worried about these things, that you need healing in your body from, uh, I, I think it's uh, a cyst which is uh, troubling you. Lord, in these circumstances, stand with them and do a miracle for them. Miracle for her. Encourage, 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 Nirisha, Lord. Lord, turn that situation around. Turn it around, Lord. Turn her, Lord, spiritual life to be stronger with you by filling her with your mighty anointing right now. Let your love fill her, Lord, and keep her strong in you. Keep her strong in you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Pavani Padmata, uh, Padamata. My, I'm in the midst of family problems. My husband, uh, I'm, I want you to pray for my husband's salvation. Chitti Babu, it's his name. Lord, uh, please give, save her husband as she wants. She's asking you, Lord. She's depending upon you, Lord. Please give him life within you. Love overflowing. Call unto him, Lord. And draw him close to you, Father. Draw him close to you. Love him abundantly. And let him get that love from his wife. God's love be shown to him through her. And let him be transformed. 
in Jesus' name. Let all her family problems not crush her, Lord. Let it not crush her, Lord. Elevate her out of the family problems. Let us stand strong, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. So, thank you for many of the comments that is coming. So, just to recap on what we have heard, just remember, my friends, um, I know some of you might be bullied also uh, constantly in school or in college, and you might be so down because people are teasing you left and right. Um, every time you go, it might be so difficult to face them. But um, you should just find the strength in God and go every day to school and college. No, get that word from him. Get that uh, strengthening word from him that he loves you. That this is what I'm going to do for you. Whatever he's promising you, carry that in your heart. Carry his love and happiness in your heart. Let that be content for you. And you won't let any other word from any person, any discouraging word, any negative word, any teasing word bring you down. God will transform that situation also as you carry his word within your heart. So don't listen to these negative thoughts. Uh, don't suffer all alone and sink in your depression, my friend. Uh, be with people that God has given you in your life that encourage you and are happy. Uh, listen to such words from the Bible every day morning, as I keep repeating, and listen to such messages that's in YouTube and uh, Facebook, Instagram, everywhere it's there. Listen to such songs and be strengthened. And don't hide in your depression. Don't just hide, uh, uh, don't just hide your depression by going into some other pleasure. I know many times it's easy for us to do that. Um, but deal with your depression. Deal with whatever thing is pulling you down. Pull it out and complain and say it. Tell it to the Lord. Lord, this is what I'm suffering. This is what is happening to me. Please give me a way out of it. And the Lord will give you wonderful people in your life to support you. And he will give you his spirit within you to strengthen you. So right now, thank you for all the comments that you've shared. This is just the first live that we've done. So uh, we're getting used to this. But uh, um, we'll be doing many more lives uh, just like this, every Friday at 8 o'clock in uh, social media. Um, so fe feel free to come and just talk to me, and uh, we'll pray together, we'll talk, talk with each other, I'll listen to you, and uh, we'll just share the time with you. Um, and um, we release a lot of videos in YouTube, uh, two every week. So we've started doing that, so please subscribe to YouTube, and watch those videos. I shared nuggets of thoughts about different situation in our life and how um, we can be transformed, we can change, and how God impacts uh, in that life and, uh, you know, strengthens us. In, in, talk about many issues in that. Um, and Instagram also, we're releasing many videos, just small, small verses in which how God works in our lives that day. You can receive a strength from Him, a promise from Him, away from Him. It will be very encouraging. These are the things which will pull us out of depression. And TV program also in Family Channel in Tamil, every night, 9.30. And uh, every Friday at 9 o'clock is our show. Um, so watch that. And in your local language also, um, we have many um, programs for the youth once a week in different channels, ETV and uh, uh, Sub Sub Sandesh, CTV, Raj TV, and many other uh, programs. You can all find it all in uturn.in website. Just go to uturn.in. Any information, uh, you can find it out. And we have U-Turn Club that is happening in many prayer towers. So find the nearest prayer tower next to you and uh, see the time that these club meetings are happening. You can find a lot of friends there. You don't say you're lonely ever again. We have so many people waiting for you there. So that also you can find out the timings in uturn.in, the website. And keep in touch in social media with us. Keep commenting in every video. Keep sharing and we'll reply to you. We're praying for you there. 
Um, and most importantly, we want to be in touch with you. So let us know who you are um, in WhatsApp. Uh, share uh, a hi by uh, giving your name there. Um, if you want to be part of U-Turn, if you want to be a member in U-Turn, and if you want uh, more things like this to grow, and if you want to impact uh, others uh, in others' lives for God, uh, please join with us in, by saying a hello in WhatsApp. Our number uh, is 805 8056139888. Uh, we can put it on the chat also. So say a hello there, and we'll make you a member of U-Turn, and we'll correspond with you regularly. All right, friends, I hope just the things that I shared was useful. Just think about that and implement that in your life. Even now, we'll pray just one last time that God will remove every depressive thought, every depressive situation. He'll turn it around in our life. As U-Turn says, turn your life around. Shall we pray right now? Will you pray with faith within me that God will strengthen you in your heart? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for enabling your children to spend this time with you um, on social media. Thank you for helping us find you. And thank you in this depressive time that they have turned for your help. Listen to their heart, Lord. More than me, you understand them. More than me, you know them and you love them. Look into their heart, Lord. Listen to their voice, Lord. And right now, answer them. Answer them. Speak to them. Love them. Fill them with strength. Fill them with your spirit. He is so important to us. He lives within us. And he shows us your love. The Holy Spirit. Fill them, Holy Spirit, right now. Wherever they are watching from, they are tuning in from, fill them. Strengthen their body, strengthen their mind, strengthen their soul, strengthen their heart, strengthen them in their situation to face it boldly and to kickstart their life again in the midst of failures, in the midst of discouragement, in the midst of the words that are coming, in the midst of people harassing them, in the midst of loneliness, in the midst of love failure. Lord, all these things cannot break them, Lord. Let them rush to find you and keep you at the center of their life, center of their heart. Yes, right now, Holy Spirit, fill them abundantly and promise to lead them out of depression, lead them into a new life, into a new start, to build their life from the bottom up. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for this great promise. Thank you for this great blessing. Do a miracle right now in their situation. Turn it around. Every failure in their exam, let it turn it around. Let, let it be turned around, Lord. Lord, every failure in their health, let them receive new healing in their body. Every failure in salvation, let there be great love of God, great presence of God coming to all that they're praying for, Lord, and to their heart. Strengthen it, Father. Thank you for a healing touch in Jesus' name. Amen. My friend, thank you for following us. Uh, thank you for watching. Please, uh, as I say, follow our videos and all that we put up in these social media channels and uh, keep following us. Tell your friends about it. Share all that we do. It will be a great blessing for them. It will strengthen them when they most need it. And uh, it's just a short live that we did <clears throat> for the first time in social media. So uh, hoping to do more in the future. I know we can talk to each other more then. All right, see you next.